Hello and welcome everyone to Dragon Ball What If. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about what is next for Beast Gohan. How will it stack against Goku UI Mastered and Ultra Ego Vegeta? Will he even be able to overcome Broly? That is the questions we're going to get into. So let's dive right in. So in Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Gohan gets his ultimate upgrade that the fans have been asking for. It is a fan service through and through, but I loved every second of it. Gohan finally has a new form, and it's not Super Saiyan based essentially. Um, in a sense, it is Saiyan based, but it's also mixed with his earthly human side. So he has his new Beast Mode, which his hair gets longer, spikier, turns white, grayish, red eyes. You know, he's super powered up. It's it's like an ascended version of Super Saiyan 2, but on steroids, mixed with the great ape form. If you notice, his eyes turn red from the rage, and I think that is his uh, ape form taking over in that essence, but controlling the power, kind of like how Broly has um, control, full power of his ape form, no longer has his tail, but uh, he can control it in his human form, so to speak. I think this is where Gohan is drawing that rage from, and when it's mixing with his human side, it creates this whole new form and transformation which you know leave your comments and thoughts below too but i think this is just the start for gohan i think he can evolve that it would be cool to see if there's some kind of hybrid form something more intense and, and beast like too so where it's between somewhere in between the great ape and his human form i think that would be awesome uh, and he continue to develop that the biggest question is how they're going to proceed that going forward the manga is just catching up to superhero now so we're ha we're getting to see the behind the scenes details more in depth um, and we'll see what happens up to that point but then what's going to be interesting is what happens after where does Gohan go from here is he stronger than everybody that is the question and in my opinion I think yes in this in this moment in time because Dragon Ball Super Superhero is after all the last arcs with Moro and Gas, you know, it's, you know, of course, Frieza coming in and taking out Goku and Vegeta. I think that even Gohan Beast mode is stronger than Frieza. We will have to wait and see specifically, but I think it would be interesting to actually have Gohan take on Frieza. Kind of, I want to say revenge, but if you think back to Dragon Ball Z on Planet Namek, Gohan gave him a run for his money before getting the beat. Additionally, when Frieza came back in the Resurrection F and pretty much uh, killed Gohan, so it'd be nice to see him get some revenge on that outside of the Tournament of Power or push each other further because I don't know. We'll have to see the scope of Frieza because he didn't try to kill Goku and Vegeta, even though he could have. So we'll see if Frieza takes a shift too, but that's for a later discussion. Uh, but could, but could Gohan beat Goku, Ultra Instinct Mastered, and Ultra Ego Vegeta and Brawly at the same time? I'm willing to bet yes, considering that Cell Max is supposed to be stronger than all of them, especially if he would have had a full brain capacity and development. He wasn't launched early. I think he has the raw power to do so. I think Gohan easily took that on uh, with his hands, his feet. I mean, you saw him fighting in the movie. It was effortless almost. And then he charged up that special beam cannon and absolutely wrecked Cell Max. So I think, yes, I think Gohan is the strongest character in the Dragon Ball universe currently um, that will obviously be tested and probably won't stay forever because nobody stays OP forever because then it doesn't leave any room for growth. But tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me what you think. I think Gohan's going to continue to power up and, and hopefully become, you know, one of the number one characters again, like we've all been wanting because he has the most potential. Yes, Broly has potential. Broly's strong. He can almost unlimited. So is Goku. So is Vegeta with all the different variations, but there's so many paths to go down and, you know, it's going to be a while before we get to see all of them. So I'd like to see your thoughts and your opinions on where this is going to go from here. Um, it's it's a really interesting time for Dragon Ball fans. And it's just going to keep amping up, especially once that manga catches up with the final fight scene from the movie. Because then we're into new un, unexplored waters, uncharted territories. And we're going to get to see some interesting things that, just like with the Moro arc and the, and the Gas arc, we're going to get to see a lot of things that we never would have thought in the direction they're going to go. Because nobody has any idea. But it's interesting to explore these thoughts and see how far we come, especially as fans, if we really understand where the series can go. And it's just something we can come together on and, and see, because I think we're in a very exciting time that's just going to continue to expand for Dragon Ball fans. Anyway, I thank you for coming and checking this out today. Leave your comments below. We'll, we'll hash this out more. We can do a part two. We'll get into more on in, in Go, Gohan. I think he, again, unlimited potential. And I can't wait to see what he comes up with next and gets as he gets control of this form and raw power, because it is brand new to him and you know that they hone those that develop them and they grow in strength over time anyway i hope you guys have a great day i'm zealous and i'm out